mystery at a Weymouth tow yard. Why did an SUV towed there a month ago have stacks of undelivered mail inside? Well, the tow company has been trying to call the owner of the SUV now for weeks. But after getting no answer, he decided to look inside the car for more clues. And that's when he found the mail. WBC's David Robichaux has the story all new at 5. You do see some strange stuff, but this was about the weirdest. Weymouth Towing Company owner Bruce Hansen has found things like loaded guns in the back of vehicles that he's hauled. But yesterday, he discovered what looked like a mini post office inside an SUV. There were thousands of pieces of mail. It's all first class mail. It wasn't just advertisements and stuff. It was all the, the real deal. Some of the letters had been postmarked as far back as November. He had towed the SUV months ago, but the owner never came to claim it, even after Bruce sent registered letters. So he decided to look inside for some kind of ID, but everything was covered with clothes and blankets, the mail underneath. The first thing I noticed was a um, placard for the uh, Postal Service, a delivery van said, this is a delivery vehicle. If you have any trouble, call this phone number. As well, somebody was delivering mail with this vehicle. According to Bruce, the majority of the undelivered mail found in the back of that SUV was postmarked here at the Roslindale station. A U.S. Postal Service official confirmed to me that the driver of the SUV is a USPS employee. I think somebody it was easier to throw the mail in the back than it was to walk and deliver it to the houses. A USPS spokesman in Boston says the female employee was working as a city carrier assistant. That's an entry-level letter carrier job. Looks like a postal uh, coat. He said the woman has not been charged with anything and while still employed is not involved in carrying any mail right now. He also confirmed that the employees are allowed to transport mail in their personal vehicles. In Roslindale, David Robichaux. WBZ News. The U.S. Postal Service says that potentially hundreds of customers in the Rosendale area did not receive mail because of this incident. If you think you're missing mail, they have set up a hotline to call. For more information, go to our website, cbsboston.com.